everybody, this is Praxis, and today's the day to finally start testing out this thing, and that all starts by putting on the filters. If you recall, uh, this is the air intake that goes down into the root cellar. I do have a cap on here, I just didn't want little critters crawling in there, or whatever. Uh, I'm going to be taking that cap off today and putting the filters on and the side panels that hold it on there as well. Um, before I get going today, I put a bead of silicone around here to seal uh, this so it wouldn't be sucking air up through that crack. I did a bead there and a bead there and kind of pushed them in. Uh, that seems like that worked out all right. Uh, I suppose I'm going to take this off now because this is the kind of thing I forget to, uh, I forget to pull later. Um, and uh, uh, These are the filters that I've, uh, I've got on there. These are HEPA filters uh, made by Viva. They are the type that work with a, uh, an air purifier that I have in my house. And uh, I made this so that it could take these filters of this dimension and also uh, some other more generic uh, brands as well. Now I know a couple of you guys, specifically Die Bullfrog, uh, Die Bullfrog had had uh, some questions about uh, you know, whether this was going to work out uh, perfectly well. Whether uh, I was going to get enough air going through this uh, vent. My sense is, my hope is, is that I am because uh, this is designed to work with systems that would just have all the air coming through one panel. Now these are HEPA filters as opposed to uh, the, the more pervious kind of uh, filters that you might have on an air intake system. But instead of just having one filter uh, for going in, I've got four of them. So the air can go through all four. So the, even if you only get a quarter, a quarter as much uh, air movement through one of these, it should still work. But you know, that's what we do tests and I'll find out whether this is just ridiculous and it's not going to work or not. But the first step is to finish building it. Um, you know, I mentioned I made this for a couple different filter sizes. Uh, this filter size is a little short. You see there's a gap up there. So this has to be set up a little bit. I thought initially that I'd have to put like a little uh, you know, piece of wood down there, like a spacer. But as it so happens, these have Velcro on the sides. And the fact that I put this felt here allows me to just uh, stick them stick them right in there. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's just enough to kind of hold it up there while I... Uh, I put it all together. So we got the other ones here and this is the part of the process that's going to be a little bit on the tricky side because I've got to uh, I've got to have all these guys holding on here and uh, and put the front and the back panel on all at the same time. None of it uh, none of it sort of pre uh, none of it pre attaches. So uh, it's a little bit it's going to be a little hectic. I, I just noticed I put these up too high. There's a gap on the bottom. Bring that down. All right, cool. The reason that I made it high is because the other filter uh, option is a taller filter. And these are a little shorter. One problem I'm seeing is that the Velcro is kind of tearing apart at this felt. But, I mean, I think I can always replace the felt. And for how many times I'm going to do this, I don't think it'll be a problem. Okay, uh, that's all good. One last filter to put on the back side here. And, uh, and then I can start trying to put on the, uh, the sides. Now the side panels are what hold this whole thing together. Here's one of them right here. The side panels have an air intake on the bottom here and the air all goes through there. And these guys, they've got this metal flashing that is supposed to slide right up in there. And this is the part I think is gonna be kind of tricky. I get one side. Metal flashing is in. Now I gotta get the metal flashing to slide in on the other side. Again, I haven't tested this before, so you're seeing the, the first uh, first pass of this. So far, so good. Okay. All right, that side seems like it is on. Now I, I put this here uh, ahead of time so that I have something to kind of hold this side on with because until I get the other side on and clamp it all together, the whole thing can fall apart. That's something I got to improve over time, but for now, as long as I can keep them on there while I'm, uh, while I am, uh, putting them on, it should be fine. This is the part that I thought was going to be really awkward, was, uh, getting these, uh, these little metal, uh, strips to slide in. The other side was pretty easy. Let's see. This side seems a little snugger. As long as I can get it in, I'll be good. Obviously. 